Welcome to Everts. We're actually showing our three screen solution, which is the front end of the facility of the future. Um, what the three screens is entails, it ties in Mediator, which is our content asset management system, with Vislink, our NMS system that manages the equipment using SNMP, and ties it in using VUE from an operator perspective. So what we see is a departure from the traditional facility in which you have multi-viewers, multiple control panels, to a point where now you have three screens in which everything you need to do to manage material in a playout is done through these three screens. Mediator, utilizing a web interface, provides the information for a playout. So what we see here is the front end of Playtime, which is the automation perspective, uh, the automation module of Mediator, to allow us to generate playlists for the multiple channels and that uh, you can use for playout. Comprehensive web interface that allows us to search on different material, add material, and as well as view various materials to ensure that we are looking and, and playing out the correct of content. On this side, we have Vislink, which is our NMS. Uh, a comprehensive NMS that allows you to look at all the various devices within the actual chain and monitor them through SNMP. As well as not only giving you the fact that you have alarms, I can actually lay out different views in which I show the system from a very top level and it allows us to drill down to see the various signals to the point where I actually have the chain view of the actual video path and be able to identify quickly where the fault is and resolve the issue. Other elements we can utilize Vislink is to be able to do things like auto response, uh, IRM and CSM, where we actually add intelligence to reactions of failures. So in the case of automation or auto response, we can react and switch to a default path when we detect a failure. All of it is controlled through VUE. VUE is our customizable user interface that allows us to start providing to the operator tools that they would utilize to do the task at hand based on a series of different widgets that can be set onto the desktop. And in this case, we are showing from a playout perspective controls for multiple channels utilizing mediator widgets in which I can select different channels, select the actual controls of the channel playout itself, look at the playlist of the channel, and do some searches in video of, or a video representation of the channel, and do searching on material that's on the playlist, all from the operator interface. I can then also provide interfaces to the ingest clients, so they can actually control the ingest clients utilizing this tool. Other devices that you can add on to is router control, multi-viewer control, proccing control, the various infrastructure devices. And again, all centralized to a single location that is very intuitive for the operator. What you see here is Dreamcatcher, our foray into the whole replay uh, system market. Um, what we've done is we've taken an approach to look at replay from a different perspective. We're looking at ways to make the ability to tell stories a lot more effective, a lot more efficient and quicker than what you have in the market space today. Dreamcatcher is a system that utilizes various, uh, or utilizes a, um, that can be scaled from a small system that is a four, system, four channel system to a very large system that can be multiple of 20 or 30 camera system. Um, the core of the system is a Linux based uh, product uh, that um, gives us also a 10 gig backbone to interconnect to different devices. What we see here is two different versions. We've got a 4K version, which is an eight channel recorder player that's got three gig HDSDI that can be configured as a six by two, four by four, or a one by seven, or seven by one, it's in terms of seven inputs, one output, four inputs, four outputs. There's a 2K version, which is an HDSD recorder player, six channels, again, configured to be a four by, four in, two out, three in, three out, and any other way you want. One of the elements that comes in with Dreamcatcher is in fact a built-in multi-viewer. So what we can do is connect the device, DVI into it, and we have a built-in multi-viewer that shows us our inputs and outputs. In fact, the front end of Dreamcatcher is our view. So again, we are able to customize what the operator sees. Not only can they get the multi-viewer, but I can also add and drag in things like router control, proccing controls, and such. So I can build a custom interface that allows them to now add additional tools to allow them to complete the task at hand, which in this case is doing replays. The Dreamcatcher has a traditional uh, desktop controller, which allows us to create 
scrub through content, and create clips. Again, a very comfortable or a very familiar control interface to operators that are out there today. So the learning curve is very, very short in terms of being able to utilize and control to use Dreamcatcher to create clips very easily. So what we have is the ability to switch between two different outputs. I can start then creating clips very easily. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll simply scrub through, do a capture, mark in, mark out, and clip it. One of the elements we have here is a tagging window. One of the big concepts within Dreamcatcher is very important is metadata. The more metadata I capture about the event, the more information I can use to create playlists, search for clips, search across the database. So that becomes a very com important component of the actual clip. Now, within the controller, we have an updated interface in which we've also incorporated a touch screen. So in this case, I can play the clip, control the speed, or I can also utilize a different camera angle to maybe per perhaps capture the replay in a more uh, amical way. Okay. So in this case, we can see the player running out and that stuff. So we have the different camera angles. Now, one of the other elements is a video or a perspective of actually capturing different clips and such. So in this case, I can quickly create playlists very easy by simply dragging and dropping clips. So in this case, we'll go to this one, take this clip, drag it over. And if we have any other ones, we can simply drag and drop them into the playlist as well. So the ability to create playlists is very easy. So let's go ahead and add some more clips. Okay. Mark in. Let's just go mark in. Mark out, clip. Enter some information, save. Okay, so we've created another clip in here, stored it in a location, we're gonna add that through here. Okay, in fact, let's go add one more clip. Let's go back to record train, scroll back, mark in, mark out, clip. Out, throw that here, save it. Now, as you can see, we've quickly added that clip in. Go to the top of the playlist, hit play, and now I've actually quickly generated a playlist assembled from the different clips, and I can transition through the different clips through here. Okay. One of the unique features that's part of Dreamcatcher is a concept of a mosaic look. So let's go back to our record train. This particular clip, we'll take that on air, shows a play at first place, at first base, that is very close. Okay, so let's look at that same play from a different camera angle. Hit play. And then we control the speed to see the replay going through. And in fact, he is safe. Well, let's look at it at our third camera angle. Scrub back. Control. Run it through. Now let's slow it down. So from multiple camera angles, we can actually see that the replay is there. So let's see all three of them at once. Let's go into our mosaic mode. So now we're gonna enable mosaic view, which will allow us to see all the camera angles or three camera angles at once. Select the menu, select mosaic. I'm gonna pull up my box. We're gonna look at camera angles four, three, and one in which I'm gonna then make some final adjustments. And then when I hit play, I'm gonna see the play from all the different angles at once to see if in fact how close that play was. And in fact, you can see I'm controlling all the angles at once with the single controller to see in fact all the different angles. So the savings in terms of being able to do this is enormous. This was done immediately, can be done right out, right on the live. If you were to do this in a traditional manner, this could be a few minutes trying to synchronize multiple operators and go through a production switcher to enable the DVE squeezes and such. So again, a very flexible way to tell the story from a different manner. In some cases in the Super Bowl, you had Coach A, which was Brother One, Coach B on the other side, which was uh, the opposition coach, and the play in the middle, in which we were able to see the reaction of both coaches at the same time for a play that happened on the field. One of the other elements that we have in uh, 4K mode 
is the ability to take a 4K image where we've got four 3 gig signals coming into the device and we output a 1080p signal. And what Dreamcatcher does in the 4K mode, it allows us to do things like zoom in, track the plays and such. So I take the full 4K res, zoom into a particular play, output that as HD, and then track that play by creating a flight path for that play. So it allows us to utilize 4K in the production side of things, but show replay from a different perspective with higher clarity in HD.